Hello boys and girls, welcome to the second part of histograms. Um, this is not an easy topic, um, so you need to really be careful here. Sometimes in the exam, they might not ask you to construct a histogram from the group data table. They may give you an incomplete histogram and an incomplete group data table and ask you to to fill the gaps, okay? So for instance, here I've got an, this data table, the group data table, which is incomplete, and here in the histogram I've got missing information. I, I, I don't have the scale, I don't know many things here. So uh, use the histogram to complete the table. Okay, how am I gonna go about it? Now, typically, the first thing you need to do is figure out the scale on the y-axis. And remember, what did we call the y-axis? Because on the x-axis, we know we me we're measuring time. But the y-axis, what was it in a histogram? Is that weird thing that we called the frequency density. Okay, density. Sorry, I haven't got a proper pen. Okay, I need to figure out what the scale of my histogram is each tiny square 0 0.1 or is each tiny square 0 0.2 or is it something else how am i going to figure out now the clue is given to you here in the bit where you've got both bits of information remember in a histogram what tells you how many people there are in each category it was the area of each bar so let's look at the 2 to 3 bar. Let's look at the 2 to 3 bar, that one there. That has got a width of 1, because from 2 to 3, the difference is 1. It's got a width of 1, and the area has to be 27, because in a histogram, the frequency is the area of each bar. So if the width is 1, and the frequency is 27, remember that frequency density, the frequency density is equal to the frequency divided by the width. Width. Okay. Apologies if you can hear my child being um, slaughtered in the background. I can assure you that no child was being harmed during the recording of this video. Um, so, the frequency density of this bar here, of the 2 to 3 bar, is going to be the frequency 27 divided by the width, which is 1. So the height here, that height there, which is the height of the bar, that's a height of 27. That's 27. Because I just worked it out, didn't I? Frequency density for that bar was the frequency 27 divided by 1. So the frequency density is 27. Now, if you think about it now, I've got, I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 22, 27. Okay, 27. So each, each square, each tiny square is one. Is, is, is one, is a unit of one. Frequency density, it's not minutes, it's not height, it's nothing, it's just one. So I can now scale my, my histogram. So that's five. Um, well, five is here. So that's five. That's 10. That's 15. That's 20. And that's 25. And that's 30. Okay, right, so here we go. Now, for each bar, um, we can find out what the frequency is going to be. The first bar goes from 0 to 0 0.5, so that bit there. The height is 10, and the width is 0 0.5, so the area is base times height, 0 0.5 times 10 is 5. If the area is 5, that means the frequency is 5, because frequency and area are the same. So there were 5 people 
that took between zero and half an hour. Make the five like a five. Okay, the next bar is also got here, you can see it's got a width of 0 0.5, but the height is actually 20, 21, 20, 24. So the area of that bar is the height of 24 times the base, which is 0 0.5, is 12. So there were 12 people there. Next bar, it's got a width of 1, from 1 to 2, we've got a width of 1, and a height of 34. So the area, width is 1, times height of 34, that is easy enough, is 34 people. And finally, the last bar has got a height of 4, and a width of 2, because from 3 to 5, the width is 2, the height is 4, we said. So that's an area of eight. So there were eight people. And that's how you use um, an incomplete histogram and an incomplete data table to fill the gaps and figure out how many people there were in each category. This is a very, very standard exam question. So I'm going to stop here. Once again, strongly recommend you pause, rewind, watch, Go along, follow the instructions, and you will be fine. Um, until next time, please take care, pay attention, do it slowly. Any questions, let me know. Bye.